Clad One MPOX, also known as MPXV, hasn't reached the UK yet, but experts are on high alert. In today's video, we're breaking down everything you need to know to stay informed and prepared. You might have heard about MPOX in the news, especially during the 2022 outbreak. But did you know that there are actually two types, or CLADs, of this virus? Today, we're focusing on CLAD1, which is considered more severe and has some unique characteristics. So let's start with the basics. The Mpox virus is related to the smallpox virus and can cause a rash illness that ranges from mild to severe. CLAD1 Mpox is more dangerous than its counterpart CLAD2 and that's why it's classified as a high consequence infectious disease. Historically, CLAD1 Mpox was only found in five Central African countries but recently, it has spread to other parts of Central and East Africa. This raises concerns about the virus spreading even further, possibly beyond the African continent. So why should this matter to you? Well, while no cases of CLAD1 Mpox have been detected in the UK so far, the virus can spread through close contact and it's important to be aware of the symptoms and how it spreads. Mpox spreads primarily through skin-to-skin -skin contact, respiratory droplets, and even through touching contaminated clothing or bedding. The symptoms start between 5 to 21 days after exposure and usually include fever, headache, muscle aches, and a distinctive rash. The rash often starts on the face or genital area before spreading to other parts of the body. It goes through several stages before eventually forming scabs, which can also be infectious. But here's something interesting. CLAD1 Mpox can sometimes be confused with other illnesses like chickenpox because the symptoms are so similar. That's why healthcare professionals have to be very careful when diagnosing it. To get a definitive diagnosis, doctors send samples to specialist labs where they can determine which clad of the virus is present. This is crucial for ensuring that the right precautions are taken. Now let's talk about treatment and prevention. The good news is that most people recover from Mpox without needing special treatment. However, in severe cases, doctors might use antiviral medications or even a smallpox vaccine, which can help control outbreaks. The smallpox vaccine can also offer some protection against Mpox, which is particularly useful during outbreaks. So what can you do to protect yourself? First, be aware of the symptoms especially if you or someone you know has recently travelled to areas where CLAD1 Mpox is present. Second, if you suspect you might have been exposed, seek medical advice immediately. So to sum it up, CLAD1 Mpox is a serious virus that we all need to be aware of. It's more severe than the type we saw in 2022 outbreak, and while it hasn't been detected in the UK yet, being informed is the first step in protecting yourself and your community. Thank you for watching and stay informed and stay safe.